The Lux Hexpeak F6ES is a development of the F6 range, sometimes known as the Hexpeak XL. This one is specifically aimed at people interested in hot tenting, so ideally suited for bushcrafters, motorcycle tourers and perhaps car campers as well. As you can see, it's a fairly compact package and with all the accessories that comes with it, totals just over one and a half kilos. As with most hex peak shelters, they are provided with two ground straps which you clip either side of the door and the two corresponding locations at the rear of the shelter. And what this enables you to do, due to the hexagonal shape of the shelter itself, is get the distance correct before you slide in the pole. The recommended pole for the shelter is the 197, which is a four section pole. And we always suggest that you either use some pole mushrooms or a half tennis ball at either end of the pole to prevent the pole from sinking during damp weather or damaging the top of the shelter. It always helps. If you're a walking pole user, you have the option to extend a single walking pole or to make a more durable, stronger support, link a pair of poles together with one of the variety of walking pole links which are available on the market to suit most poles. Whichever support you decide on, it's a simple operation to slide the pole in and as you can see here, the two guide straps are still there so you simply unclip those and if you wish to use them, you can clip them outside as additional guy supports. The F6 series is a very large shelter for one and certainly capable for two. As you can see, it's uh, three meters wide and almost three and a half meters deep, which allows a lot of options for space. As with all hex peak shelters in the series, they have external loops. So if you are able to support the shelter externally, you can do so, saving you the pole. Any hot tent user will know that the airflow is the most important part to allow the stove to work effectively. And this particular air vent can be open, closed in numerous ways. As you can see there, it can be left open. Internally, the mesh can be closed like that to prevent the bugs or it can be open completely and the internal tabs you can see there either side can be connected externally and lock it open. Obviously every user's needs are different and if you're not in snow or you are wishing to close the air vent down completely that can be done as well simply by undoing the tabs, pulling it forward and closing it down. Just above the air vent on the same panel is the removable cover for the stove jack and that simply velcros into place and depending on the weather and what you need to do you can either cover it up with the cover as you can see there or obviously you have your stove working. And we'd always recommend for safety purposes that you keep a carbon monoxide detector close at hand. They're not very expensive. At the join of each panel, you'll see there are two guy tabs, two thirds of the way up and one third of the way up, and the lower tab has this elasticated hook. Around the base of the shelter, there are snow flaps attached, and these simply hook over the pegs. However, there might be times when you want these out of the way, perhaps to increase ventilation or airflow in the shelter itself when it isn't being used in deepest winter. And so the lower elasticated hook that was mentioned earlier simply goes through the tabs as you can see there and holds the flaps up out of the way, increasing the airflow. And once you've done it all the way around the shelter, it's quite a neat finish. And at the centre of each panel, there's also a further guy tab should you need more stability. Coming around to the front of the shelter, you have a double-ended J-zip, so you can leave the door open at the top during the night should you wish to do so. And of course, a support there to keep the flap open to allow maximum airflow above the door. Obviously a lot of thought has gone into this section because during really bad weather when the snow or the weather is being driven up through that air vent there may be a time you need to close it completely. So tucked inside that storage area is another flap which you can see me holding up there which clips into place and closes the vent down completely. 
Internally, as mentioned, it's three meters across and three and a half meters deep. So you have a vast amount of floor space in there and it is certainly suitable for two people with equipment or one person and a hot tent stove should you wish to use one. So internally you could opt for the F6 bucket ground sheet which takes up three quarters of the floor and is ideal for a stove. There is the V4 solo inner which is the smaller inner available or the F6 Solo Winter Inner, which is slightly larger and, as you can see, has more nylon. So that's a look at the Hexpeak F6 ES, a tent that has been specifically designed for winter camping. Those who like the idea of going hot tenting with a small camping stove, perhaps bushcraft users, uh, hunters, fishermen, people that really enjoy getting out, getting cold, but actually want to be snugly inside a nice, roomy, lightweight shelter.